Okay, as promised, time to dive into the proof of the fundamental theorem of linear maps. So let's start off with taking a basis for the null space. Okay, so uh, I'm taking u1 through um to be my basis. So the nullity of t is going to be m. That's the, the highest subscript on, on the u's there. And uh, <coughs> then by 233, we can extend this. to a basis of all of V. All right. And so let's actually uh, write it as U1 up to UM, and then we'll have the Vs. So we'll have V1 up through uh, VN. Okay. So then the dimension of V is M plus n, and <clears throat> all we have to do left, or all we have to do now, all that's left, um, is to show that n is the rank of t. So, in order to do that, <clears throat> or rather, that will follow from the claim that TV1 through TVN, this list is a basis of the range. Okay, and so <coughs> with the idea then that um, rank T equals N. Right? So how do you prove that something has uh, a given dimension? Well, the easiest way is to exhibit a basis and count the number of things in it and, and show that it's the right number. Okay, so let's look at the proof of this claim. So now we're claiming that it's a basis, so we have to establish two things. We have to establish it's a spanning set for the range and also that it's independent. So let's look first at spanning okay so for a spanning set what do we need we need to be able to make sure that if we take any w from the range of t then we can solve the equation um, <coughs> uh, of taking a linear combination of tvs and having it add up to w okay now if w is in the range then W looks like TV for some V and V by definition of range. And now it so happens that we've got a basis for V, that's the, like the, uh, the thing that we wrote down right here. So Uh, from the basis, we know that we can write V as A1, U1, up through A, M, U, M, plus B1, V1, up through B, N, V, N, right? And then applying T to both sides, we get um, TV equals, um, and then uh, on the left side, we're going to have A1 TU1, so I'm using linearity here, up through AM TUM, and B1 T V1 up through B 
BM TVM. But then because the U's are a basis for the null space, there are elements of the null space, and that means each of these terms is going to be equal to zero. So we have just the linear combination of the uh, TVKs. Okay, so so I've used that um, T is linear and the um, UJs are in the null space of T. So since um, TV is a linear combination of the VKs, um, this shows that W is in the span of the TVKs. Okay, so that's the spanning part. Now, in order to see that the TVKs are linearly independent, we need a different argument. So, suppose that we've got um, a sum of CJ, TVJ adding up to zero. Okay, then the goal is to show that all the CJs are equal to zero. So, then we have T of this sum by linearity is also going to be equal to zero. So then CJ VJ is in the null space of T. So we know that we can express it in terms of the basis of the null space, which is the U's. So CJ VJ is going to be expressible as some linear combination of the U's. For some choice of scalars DK. Okay, but now if I subtract the right side over to the left, and you take a good long stare at it, that is a linear combination of the basis elements of V that adds up to zero. And since we know that the VJs and the UKs form a basis for V, that implies that all CJs and D DKs are equal to zero. Oops, I typoed there, that's CN. Oh, and I guess I wrote that in the wrong order. Not that it really matters a whole lot, but hey, I'll just try and be legit. That is a basis of V. Okay. And we are done.